All right, I am recording. What's up, guys? Let's play some Castle Fight. We're actually going to be playing the most recent beta version. What version is this, Jedi? This is the the fifth edition beta 5.1. 5.1. Exciting stuff. Oh my god. We're going to be playing the ultimate builder, so like a kind of fun mode. Essentially, we're get a little bit like hybrid in Hellholt or Legion TD, you could call it. Different structures from different races. Should be pretty fun. Uh, creates a fun dynamic to the game. It's not as stagnant, so it does get a little bit messy, as Jedi did say before. But hey, we're all here for the mess. You guys are all here for the mess. <laughs> Should be pretty fun, nonetheless. Starting with a decent amount of gold, right? 300, I think 300 gold, 300. Yeah, that's plus 50 instead of 250. That's nice. Okay, so I actually, did, I thought this was the Void Drakes. I actually made a mistake. I honestly thought these were the Void Drakes, that they're not. I am tilted. That's definitely not what I wanted to build, but that's fine. I think they're pretty good. Starting off with not the best, best units. We have magic damage, light armor, quite a bit of HP, and we have incinerate. Each attack onto the same target deals additional damage. Okay. And then it has the armor aura too. Armor aura. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, corruption aura decreases enemy armor within. Yeah, that's actually really freaking good. My yeah. must not too bad, not too bad. Uh, so we are getting count countered, unfortunately. The Azur Drakes are super good versus the defenders. Uh, so it is going to be a tough matchup, but hopefully we'll pull through. Oh, dude, it's so fun to see all these structures, man. So I got the Eraser, which is my legendary. Uh, you know what could have been fun? What the hell is this? Oh, okay, so you can see basically uh, who has what. Yes, but you see your own and your team from the start, and then you see what the enemy has after two minutes. Ah, uh, it's after two minutes. I feel like that's kind of cheating. We shouldn't be able to see what they have, no? It's part of how the Ultimus Builder and the Race mode is uh, made up. It's like so that you can actually try and play some sort of castle fights. Okay, because or else it's a little bit too broken. That's what you mean, right? Uh, well, uh, you try to counter what uh, your other what the enemy has. And if you don't know what they have, they, you can't really counter them. Yeah, it gets complicated. Aside from the full blind when you mm -hmm. did your first building, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you actually get to see them. Void the original Keeper. ultimate mode also had no fog of war, so you could actually see the whole map. Yeah. Uh, so what do we have here? Let's check out, uh, pay attention to pretty much what's happening. So, all right, all right, we have the Void Keeper at the beginning. So we started off with this guy, minus four armor. I feel like that is very valuable throughout the game. We're, we're actually pushing back, which is really good to know. Uh, we did, so our teammate built the Winged Serpent, which has some bounce attacks, magic damage. We're mainly magic damage at the moment, which is funny enough. And uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, we are... You went for the Defender. Yeah. Usually Defender is pretty good, right? Defender overall, strong, Trust consistent unit. Backbone, yes. Hold the line. Hold the line, yes! He's taking... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I thought he was taking bonus, but all of these guys have chaos damage. So, they're pretty much doing 100% uh, damage to all of our armor types. So, I mean, it's going to be consistent for them. So, it's always a good pick to go for chaos. But still, we're pushing back, which is good. Really good. We didn't even use a rescue or anything. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. So, I'm basically building a... Elemental of Wind to counter their air. Usually the, the reason why this one is so good is because it has obviously medium armor. Uh, usually, I mean, this game doesn't really matter, but it just has so much HP, right? And it slows air attack by 35%. And when you upgrade it, it also has AUE against air. And oh then it's self mute God. so they don't get any kill gold. So yeah, it's a good anti-air unit. 1300 HP. That is crazy. That is a lot. That is a tanky boy. But honestly, I don't even think these guys... I think the second they saw the Elemental of Wind, they're like, oh, fuck this. I'm not going to be building uh, any sort of... Like, no more additional air. It wouldn't make sense. But yeah, now they're pushing back. So Okay, yeah. So, I mean, the thing is... Ooh. Okay, you built a Chilling Mushroom. I, I think that was potentially a mistake because I already I was countering the air. I mean, that's fine too. It's gonna be useful throughout the, the, the game, no matter what. 
Uh, so we're, I think we're missing a little bit of frontline. We could probably be going, for, I, I think I'm going to go for the Crusader. Get some of that uh, frontline going. I think that's going to be pretty good because the problem with, because uh, they start massing the greater elemental of fire and essentially they, they, uh, they have a percentage chance to like uh, do that cone damage. So uh, breath of fire. Yeah. yeah. For these big fights, that is going to be insanely valuable. So yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game, but uh, it's always fun to showcase the new, um, new version. Anything you want to... Um, Jedi, anything in particular that we want to tell the viewers about the new version? Obviously, it's still in beta. Well, the main, main uh, difference between the beta 4 and the 5.1 is that we have the ultimate mode. Aside from that, it's just some uh, minor fixes and some balance tweaks. Mm. Okay, so just balance. Okay, ultimate mode is basically what we're doing right now, right? Yes. Nice. There was a way to do it before, but there was like a workaround. You need to tell everybody to pick the race. Gotcha. And so on and so forth. Gotcha. It gotcha. was a hassle for people. And now you can just do it from the get go instead. So what I'm thinking here, a way to counter these, uh, this guy obviously, oh wait, I'm stupid. I have the eraser. I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, that's a way to counter it, right? Since one guy is massing one type of units, all I got to do is build an eraser. And what the eraser does is essentially erases one single type of unit. So in this case, if one of our opponents is massing only a single type of unit, which is already that elemental, uh, the elemental builder is broken as hell as we all know it. And this greater, greater elemental of fire is super freaking strong. I'm not sure if he's massing. I've, I don't know if he has two structures or maybe only one and it just like piled up. Who knows? Yeah, they split after a certain amount of hits too. Mm. But so, yeah, two two ways, Jedi, I was thinking about countering our boy here was either going for the Holy Altar with the legendary spell resistance, which I guess would have been insane to counter our, uh, the cone damage. Or I could have just simply went for the Eraser, which I think has so much value. Think about it, right? Now you can do the Eraser and push it straight to level 3. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I think Eraser has just so much value compared to. I mean, obviously the Holy Altar summoning the Holy Warrior could be good, just because we have so many, so much freaking aura, right? So we have the Protection, Devotion, we have Bash, Legendary Spell Resistance, Cleaving Attacks. It doesn't stop. So many freaking benefits. But uh, yeah, I think Eraser is just the way to go. Oh no! Flame Strike! No, no, no. This, this ain't. This can't be good. This can't be good. Start repairing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it right away. I have coral. What do I ask? <laughs> oh, you got a coral? Yeah, I got coral. Let's Where is go. it? I will make it. Oh, you will make it shortly. Okay, perfect. So essentially, he has a, a statue that <laughs> gives us nearby regeneration to. Is it to buildings or units or both? Both. Oh, both. Ah, I see. Let me quickly TP here, repair the catapult, the valuable catapult that we have here. Uh, yeah, we'll level it up one more time to tier three. Let's get this bread very nice. Kills all enemies' units of a random unit type that enemy controls. 50 seconds, and it, it is reduced by 12.5 seconds per upgrade. Obviously, this becomes super valuable at level three. I guess I'm rescuing. Or should should he do it? I don't know. He hasn't said much. Blue, oh. can you rescue? Because if he does it, that uh, I could keep it for the end. You see what I mean? Because I'm not sure if he knows how to rescue or something. You know? Are we pushing back somehow? No. Yeah, I'm doing it. A little coral supports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get it down. Oh, you guys saw? So. Eh, that's really nice. So all the stump walks, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but all these stump walks got erased from the game because of this uh, cheeky little uh, eraser, which is good. So I got myself the last tier greater elemental of the win. Oh, they went for the Amazon. Luckily we have uh, a bit of shields to protect us. Hmm. Go for a little bit of DPS, I think, wouldn't be too bad. 
I'm gonna upgrade a couple. We need some DPS in the mechs here, I think. Oh, yeah, you have the eye as well. That would have been fun. Which eye? Oh! Eye of corruption. Oh, shoot. I had two legendary structures? Technically, I have so many because I could be going for the troll. I could be going for the holy warrior. I literally have the ability to build so many. Oh, my God. We need some frontline. I think that's what we need, eh? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm strongly debating to get, uh, oh, very nice. Title Guardian. Not placed in the middle, though, but still might work. <laughs> Let's see. Most of them stacked on the upper side of the lane, so... Oh, man, this is, uh, this is a tough game. I wasn't expecting to, us to, like, be losing this much, but hopefully we can somehow come back. Yeah, our, our units are piling up. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. I'm gonna start. Uh, I think what I'm gonna start doing is glaive throwers. I think that's probably the way to play it. Mm, yeah, siege. Yes, yes. Get that siege going. They have so, dude. They have so many abilities. Flame strike. Amazon with the multi shot. They hit seven units, which is so good. Naga sirens. I mean, they have a pretty solid combo. I think the the other guy could have went for uh, the high drive. They have late game artillery too. They do? Yeah. yeah, it's gonna get messy, guys. It's gonna get messy. They have energy shield. I think I'm gonna go for the items, or I should probably consider. Oh, uh, yeah, the ORMs. Yeah, not yet. Maybe at like 15 minutes if we're not dead. <laughs> if we're not dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm strongly considering it. Anything else? Boom, boom. Cannon hit. Yeah. What? And now it's working. Good, good, good. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, they, okay. So, so there are legendary units at the moment. They have Hydras, Amazon, and I don't, I'm not sure which third legendary they have. Oh my God, we're struggling. No, 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 no. Don't tell me they're pushing back. This can't be possible. No, 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 no. We're already struggling. Come on, man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna pull the classic Vim strategy, which is the Scroll of Stone. Let's go. You know I can't live. I can't play a freaking castle fight game without a Scroll of Stone. <laughs> Naughty abuser. <laughs> Super OP. Get the Royal Guardians in the mix. I think we're, that's pretty much all we're missing at the moment. Just a little bit of front line. Man, how are they pushing back? Yeah, the problem is Ancient Hydra with like energy shield. That's tough. I got a couple treasure boxes, which is was a little bit of a greedy choice, but choice I made, you know. It's a choice that I must, you know, stand by. <laughs> Be proud of. They use Scroll of Stone once again because we need to push back. There's no way we can let them push. Was it a waste of gold? Some people might say. Two, I got three is okay. A bit more than that might be waste. Okay, we're pushing back. It's good. So Scroll of Stone essentially gives uh, nearby units quite a bit of regeneration. Oh, well, it just it refills their HP bar. Gives them armor. Really freaking good. 200, plus 200 mana and 8 armor. Ooh. Very nice. Quite a bit of ballistas in the back starting to amass. The thing is, they do have the uh, Volcanoes, which are... Man, th this is a tough round, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, at least our teammate has Starfall. Finally! Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm debating it to keep the gold for... I mean, second eraser, would that work? Yeah. Second eraser or Eye of Corruption? What would we benefit more? I think, honestly... Oh, yeah, and Eye would be cool, too. I think Eye would, might be good, but we already have the Void Portals. They stack the armor reduction. With the Eye, yes. So you get the, when the Void is near, you get minus 10 armor. I mean, is that really important? You see what I mean? I, I, I think Eraser might be the play, if I'm being completely honest with you. The Red Shield protects them, though. I went for double damage because uh, I have so much gold at this point. I don't know what to do with it. 
Go for a couple more, like a chapel or two more, I think is not a bad idea just to spread the aura. Yes. We would need some healing. I think like healing would be would be the play. I will try and make some silver plates. Oh my god, it like this game, dude, oh, like we're yeah, barely you have, you have part as well. This is such a rough part, man. Poor, like they still have three rescues. This is brutal. We're barely pushing through. These guys are hanging on for dear life. Hydra, Amazon both spawning at the same time. Classic. <laughs> oh, but it is entangled. I didn't think you could entangle a legendary unit, but apparently you can, which Okay, that is huge because that actually negated a massive amount of DPS. They're even starting to build uh, corrupted protectors towers, which I think might be a, a big mistake. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I do want to use Girl of Stone so bad here, but I kind of want to use it for the next push. I'm going to keep it. But these guys, okay, I'm going to wait for the cheese. Oh, oh it's expensive. Yeah. 250 more gold. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go. I think Eraser's the play. Right? I, it, it, it's, it's very close, Jedi. I think it's both really close, but I think Eraser would be so good here. No? Because the more the game goes on, the more they. But obviously, the aura is gonna be good. Minus six armor combination with the void. Be very good. What are we thinking here? It's hard. It's a hard call. Okay, I have corruption. Fine. I'm going for it. <laughs> you convinced me, Jedi. Oh, that's so good. I mean, honestly. You guys. What oh. do you have? Yeah, one or two spare parts will help the parents. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Would you guys go for the Eye of Corruption as a second legendary or a uh, second eraser? So essentially, we're redo. Either we're removing one set of creeps, right? Or we're adding. Well, reducing armor to pretty much all the units on the map. Minus six, which is obviously very good. Both are good options, but I think I decided to go for the IR corruption. I think it's pretty close no matter what. Oh, they finally used a rescue. Okay, so one. We have one oh, rescue, guys. Don't forget, they have two more. They have two more rescues. It's pretty much anyone's game. So let's build a little bit more units. We got to make sure that we are massing units no matter what. Get that DPS going. Sure. Glaive throwers are the play. Chapels, glaive throwers, bounce attacks. I think just the fact that we bounce attacks is super good. Here I'm going to use Girl of Stone, so hopefully we get a second push. Very nice. Provide our units with. Replenish your HP bar, give them armor. Let's get a, another pushback. Cause they, again, don't forget, they do have the rescue advantage. So if they push back, that's gonna be very rough for us, no matter what. Here at this point, I have so much freaking lumber, I can't even use it. What can, what can I build? Treasure box. Treasure box, treasure box, yeah, square parts. Some repair No, I, I guess I'm gonna go for more cheese. <laughs> More cheese! You have no air, but I think just having some air... You're building no air, man. What is this? Yeah, I'm gonna go for more cheese, and I'm, I'm gonna go for the eraser. That's the play. Look at the amount of catapults going here. They're gonna be forced to go for a second rescue. Very smart play by our opponent to go for the orb of lightning. We need air? I, I am going for air. Okay, I'm going for air. Yeah, I think just... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go for air right away. And then when I'm done with these two, I think I'm gonna go for a second cheese. A third cheese, sorry. Very good, very good. Uh, the scroll. The scroll of stone, let's go. Throw it in, Jedi. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Good, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to rescue right now, or else there's all that siege damage is gonna do so much damage to the castle. Come on, come on. Yo, the comeback is insane. Oh my god. How much damage? And double damage. <laughs> GR, GR, let's go. That was a clutch, clutch now play. We well played, Jenna. That was fun. We're gonna YOLO and Assassin let's hope for the best. That was a fun freaking round one. Why not?
since we did start with additional uh, lumber, I think it might be good to go for a spell right away. Might be good. Let's give it a shot. Which phone did you go for? What does my character say? I feel edgy? Is that what he says? <laughs> Maybe. I don't think that's the uh, what's it called? Eridor. Archimon. Ah, yeah. Iron oh, Golem. Oh man, that's a tanky boy right there. He's saving. Our blue is uh, he's meditating. Don't worry. What is he building? Ooh, the igloo. Yes. Okay, so Griffin Riders. I mean, it's pretty oh, close. I only have Amazon this round. Amazon? Yeah, that works. We yeah, need anti air. No <laughs> Ooh, I kind of want to go for Well of Pain, but I also want to go for anti air. I could go for. You know what? I'm not going to reveal the fact that I have the aircraft factory. I mean, they probably can see it from the glitch here, but I don't know if they know. They will see it in three seconds anyway, so yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I will go for the Well of Pain, try to change things up a little bit. Yeah, look at this tanky boy, the Iron Golem. You can change into the Adamant Golem. A legendary spell. Oh, list opening. What the f Ballista. They, say they said 50 gold for that one. What? This madman went for a Ballista this early. Crazy. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try to see. I want to see this uh, touch of pain do its thing. Who's it hitting? I can't even see. It hits anything. Anything at this or point, nothing. eh? Or nothing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Those griffins are stacking. I want to. I kind of want to feel like. I feel like building more griffins. If I'm being totally honest with you, those assassins. It will be risky if they upgrade the abomination. The air stack will uh, not work in our favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's true. So. Suffocated zombie, uh, they have the plague ability and it does hit air, so they slowly but surely uh, lose HP over time. But yeah, I mean, with one building at the moment, I don't have so many freaking griffins. So, I mean, tables have turned, you know, we were struggling at the beginning of the uh, the first round, but you know, this time we are completely dominating. Let's see, I mean, they have spiders, so they they will be able to, I mean, spiders plus zombie, really good counter versus air, so there's no point of me going for additional air units because spiders will have web I think whenever they reach their they uh level three tier three so brood mother the web will uh kind of like annihilate my uh, griffin so there's no point oh they get web as tier two. Oh, as they tier two okay that's, uh, level three. gotcha gotcha I'm not seeing our, uh, my well of pain what what is I, I can't see the damage uh look at the units <laughs> oh, yo, Vip, open your eyes. <laughs> That's basically what you said, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, they don't hit stuff that's outside the okay, I see it. War, uh, you see the little spinny thingy. I see the poison effect, but it uh, was short lived. I feel edgy. It's kind of unfortunate. So, Kubus, uh, what are we feeling? Angel of Gale, obviously, very good. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a tank. It'd be bad to go for a tank. Kind of need tanks at this moment, if I'm being totally honest with you. Pulverize 25% to do 200 damage. What? 200? That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, but I kind of want. I do it. I want a mass. I just. For some reason, I just feel like massing it, you know? Like last, the previous <laughs> castle fight uh, video, I don't know if you guys remember that one when I massed the uh, mountain giants. That was super fun. If you guys want to see more stupid stuff like that, let me know down in the comments. But <laughs> fun stuff. Very fun stuff. Are we, uh, who first? I don't know. Someone. Should I? Yeah, should you? you should. You should, definitely. I think uh, Blast Staff. Okay, at least our teammate did purchase Blast Staff. Not utilizing it properly, but it works. I guess. He's trying to aim down the ballistas, so he's doing okay. Oh, it is so close. Yeah, the brood murder. Look at that. 800. Essentially, they spawn two, two brood murders, and they do a lot of. 
Come on, barely survive. Oh, it's gonna be close. 12 seconds. Who's second? Uh, me, I think. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, yeah, again. Uh, we seem to be, we, we seem to like to play from, uh, from behind, eh? We're purposely, okay, you know, some people in the comments might be like, you guys are trolling. But listen, we're, we're purposely giving these guys a chance because we're so confident that we're going to take this win later on. It's, it's all about the confidence, boys. Wait, someone left? Oh, he's AFK? Is he AFK or something? Well, he just didn't reselect this worker. Oh, okay. Or maybe we fixed that in this patch, I don't know. I don't remember. Are they seeing coming or we fixed this in this one? But I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna go for... We have to kill those uh, fairies because they're healing nearby units, no? Yeah. So, what I'm gonna be doing is I did get myself the Greater Elemental of Earth. Siege damage hero armor, which is phenomenal. Uh, 950 uh, HP, which is actually pretty good. And uh, what's really important is the pulverize. So 200 damage, 25% uh, chance to do 200 damage in a 200 AOE, which is pretty good. Power of Earth deals additional damage proportional to elemental growing HP. Interesting. Pretty good. This seems like it does more damage with the more HP he has. Uh, so at least we have... Okay, so essentially now next my next concern was those fairies. Fairies are um, pretty good because they do heal uh, nearby units with their abilities. So what I'm going to do is build these gyrocopters, which are phenomenal units to take out the air. So yeah, they are going to get annihilated by, for example, the Hubuses or whatever. Oh, does, it seems like this guy has two spawns of fairies. But yeah, yeah I mean... Look at that. I'm, I'm killing <laughs> I'm killing the fairies so easy with just one gyro. So that's why it's super good. Very good. Very good. I could probably go for a, an Ancient of Gale. Yes. I don't know how valuable um, spells are this early. Usually kind of want to go spells a little bit later. Uh, State of Decay. Yeah. yeah, I could go. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely go for that next. Sorry? Ooh, unless you want to rush for the decay, you could make a gale. Uh, I did go for gale, which I think... Oh, ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. I think gale is a little bit more valuable right now because we need to survive, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, let's, let's focus on surviving. What do you think, the, Jedi? The decay will also have reduced effects because they have the healing keeper. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. So keeper... Okay. Don't steal. So Keeper is a legendary unit. Essentially what he has, he can summon Treants. Uh, I think he has nearby regeneration. Or was it, what is it? Aura. Regeneration aura, uh, legendary spell resistance, which pretty much all uh, legendary units do have. I think the most broken unit is the Incubus. Uh, it's just so goddamn broken. It has 1k HP, medium armor, like chaos damage. And it has a percentage chance to steal a unit. Like it's stupid. I don't know why you guys didn't balance this unit. It makes no sense to me, but I mean, it, it is quite costly. It's costly, right? That's what you're... Uh... I still think, think it's broken. I still disagree, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> broken unit, please nerf. Ooh, now tables of turn. We have the greater elemental of fire. Thing is, they do have spell resistance, so yeah, no matter what. Yeah, so look at this bad boy. It's gonna be tanking a lot. That's what's nice. The hero armor is gonna help us a lot with just the uh, frontlining. But the problem is, like, they have consistent DPS in the back with the ancient keeper stacking and uh, ballistas not helping. At least we have assassins. Hero shrine. Yes, I think hero shrine is super broken in this kind of scenario. Double spawn, yes. Very nice. Oh, stay them. Who has status? They are stunning us. They, they are stunning us. No, 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 not status. Oh my god. That is so bad. Uh, do we get a tower? I'll do my best. 
uh, against the ballistas. No. I'm gonna go for a couple of shamans just for the buffs, but I think is the upgraded version worth it? Uh, you lose the shaman buff and you can steal their buffs instead. So mostly it depends. Blue, thank you. Oh, this is gonna be okay. So you know, last game we basically went with two heals down, but in this game we <laughs> we're starting the game off with three heals down. How bad can it be, right? There's no way to, like, it, it's worse than this, right? We, I think we pretty much reach the peak difficulty at this point. Oh, that's going to be tough. This is definitely going to be tough. I don't see, like... Oh, they went for greed, too. Wow. I'll do I'll magic that greed. More greed. I probably should be uh, going for City of Decay if I'm being totally honest with you, but... At least one, I think, really good. So treasure box is the way to greed in this game, guys. So the first treasure box you build increases your income by 25%. Uh, no, no, 25%. Every other treasure box is 15% less. So watch out. It's fragile, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, one, maybe one or two is good. Beyond that point, is pretty much useless. Outstanding. Oh, we have the shield? Energy shield? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, build, build a couple of those, uh, Jedi. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, necessary. I have shields and volcanoes. Shield and volcanoes. Wait, that's huge. That might save us, if I'm being honest with you guys. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. We'll see. Red energy shield providing us with quite a bit of uh, protection versus all those spells and all that cool stuff. And some basic armor, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Starting off with the greed, we could probably go for a nice, uh, I mean, a, a, what should we put in that cage? I don't know, they don't really seem to have anything that we need to catch against. It's true. Finally, we're pushing back. But a rock inside would be okay if we want to catch. Do you remember this? <laughs> yeah, the bombers. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be sneaky with them too. I'll it's activate like, uh, them. Yeah, it is sneaky. Them first. So and then you send them strike wave. So I just, uh, I, I kind of want to see the uh, seed of decay first, because I don't want us to troll this game. We can't, we can't, we can't lose, right? It's gonna, it's gonna help us with uh, anti-air, no matter what. I'm waiting for city of decay. Don't make it in the front. Make it back here. City of decay. So we don't. No. Hello. 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 Did we DC? Mm, oh no! Did it freeze for you? Oh, frames are dropped. It was lagging a little bit, but I hope I. Just don't see, man, that would... I've been having a little yeah, bit of have... issues. Yeah, I've been having some freezes too. I'm not sure where they're from, but uh, it's probably on this side. It's Blizzard, you think? Maybe. I haven't gotten some too, so who knows what they could be. It's been lagging lately. I don't know if you guys have been... Uh, let me know down in the comments. I don't know if you guys have been playing uh, Warcraft lately, but has it been lagging for you guys? Because for me, for sure. Must be avenged. No bombs. Just... Yeah, he'll go bombers. You need, they need to rescue. Okay, nice. That's One rescue. Units. We're pressuring them, boys. That's good. What? Is... <laughs> Look at that power plant, bro. Oh, what the hell? They're buffing the treasure box and spells. He's, bu <laughs> he's buffing the treasure. He's, he's going for greed. Full on greed. Respectable. He's buffing nothing. No, 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 no. He's buffing. What do you mean? He's buffing uh, treasure boxes. They go. F they mine faster. More gold. No, 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 no. Don't oh, see me. The annoying part is that you can't skip around in the replays as you can in other games. You actually have to fast forward it. So if yeah. you miss a part, you have to restart it. It's so annoying. But at least I have the, like uh, at least X64 now. Instead, I think we were capped at like X8 or something. So longer games took hours to. Fast oh, so this forward. is where I disconnect. I, sh I didn't even. 
Okay, well, oh, that's no. awkward. It's okay, I missed it, but it doesn't matter. At this point, we just disconnect, unfortunately. It is what it is. Um, but I am going to be showcasing the last little portion of the game. So this is what happened. We kept pushing. Jetta has took it, took control of my units. He pretty much uh, <laughs> upgraded the gyros. I think that was a pretty good play, right? Yeah, making uh, the spectrum stronger. Dropping bombs on the castle. Oh my god, they had Gallahorns too? Kidding me? Yeah, so OP, this guy's power planning freaking treasure boxes up there like a beast. Yeah, look at that. So many freaking gyros in there. Yeah, this is a tough, tough to keep. It's like a sneaky way to, because uh, they have to handle this somehow, do a little bit of anti air. Since we are getting so much gold, man. So, yeah, I literally from the grave carried this game. I'm out of this game right now, I'm still carrying. <laughs> Let's slow it down to show you how how much impact a AFK vamp is. <laughs> and we take the win. GG's. Hopefully, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. It was super fun even though I did this. If you guys want to see more in the future, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching.